and we are now understanding that there is no bilateral as far as the indo pak cricket match is concerned the bcci has reiterated their decision unless cross border terror ends there will be no sports so that's the big update that's coming in the bcci reiterating their decision this is something that we were focusing on a short while ago as well that what is the kind of messaging that should be sent across from india so there will be no indo pak cricket match this is a decision that has been in fact reiterated as far as the bcci is concerned the messaging is clear until and unless the situation on the loc is normal there can be no ties with pakistan at any level we'll try and establish a connection with a colleague as well but that's the word that's coming in that there will be no match between india and pakistan this is a decision that in fact as i pointed out has been reiterated by the bcci let's in fact listen into a reaction coming in from union minister anurag thakur dekhiye jahan tak khelon ki baat hai bcci ne ye bahut pehle nirnay le liya tha ki bilateral matches pakistan ke sath nahi khelenge jab tak वो आतंकवाद को बंद नहीं करते सीमा पार से हमले बंद नहीं करते और घुसपैठ की घटनाओं को अंजाम देना बंद नहीं करते और ये मुझे लगता है देश की भावनाएं जो आम जनमानस की भावना है उसके अनुरूप ही देखिए जहां तक खेलों की बात है So that's the reaction that's coming in from Union Minister Anurag Thakur. Let's also now bring in our colleague Pail, who's joining us on the broadcast. Pail, what's the update that's coming in as far as a decision between any match between India and Pakistan? Uh, well, as far as uh, the, the entire issue is concerned, this is a stated position of the BCCI because remember the BCCI, even though it's an autonomous body, does not take a decision uh, with regards to a country without the concern of the of the government of the day as well. So obviously, on one front, where the BCCI and the government of India stand has been very simple: we do not have a bilateral series with Pakistan until they don't agree that terror and talk will not happen together. That is a stated position. But as far as multilateral tournaments are concerned, or concerned uh, uh, tournaments around. the asian cricket council or probably the icc the bcci doesn't have much of a choice because these are uh, these are uh, tournaments which have a various uh, number of implications as well uh, india should be in a position to forfeit uh, the points india will have to face various fines and bans etc so that these are the uh, norms that will have to really follow because these are international norms where you know mm-hmm. a, a large number of cricket playing nations are involved as well but you know not having any bilateral tournament is a stated position of the bcci and of the government of india and that's something which anurag thakur is reiterating over here as well and this was exactly what was said by bcci's vice president uh, rajiv shukla yesterday when he was asked a similar question pile i also want to understand as far as the politics around what has happened in anantnag yesterday a lot of reactions that came in from the valley especially from the national conference or even from the congress they continue to reiterate the fact that until and unless there is talks between both the countries things cannot go forward what is the kind of messaging that's coming in from the bjp well the government has said one thing very very clearly that till pakistan does not agree that they will come to talk with us and you know say that they are that uh, they are terra harboring nation the indian government will not have any dialogue with them that's in a stated position and that's been reiterated by prime minister and also the home minister himself as well he said that anybody who is a sympathizer of pakistan or pakistan sponsor terrorism we are not willing to talk to them as well uh, so the 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 stated position of the indian government has been very simple that we have to in fact isolate pakistan and to an extent they've been able to do that And if you remember very recently, when uh, Mr. S. J. Shankar also had a consultative committee meeting in which various opposition leaders were also present, even then he had said that the U.S. has also been a uh, big supporter of India's fight against terrorism, and that's been the stated position that you know we will not allow anybody who, who uh, sends uh, terror and terrorists to our country across the border to have any talks or have any anything else to do with us as well, because you cannot uh, allow Pakistan to lead us and at the same time expect us to be nice to them. Okay, Pail. We'll have to leave that conversation there. Thanks a lot for getting us all those details. We'll continue to track all these developments. This is the big story that we're tracking very, very closely. For now, slipping into a very short break.